Assalamu alaikum class uh, again I am Hirab Shah and I am again here to teach you another case of typhoid and this is for final year from the morning and evening session including all the groups A, B and C So here is the case report. Uh, the patient has a history uh, that she, uh, he is uh, that she is 25 year old American female, uh, which is uh, which which were presented to the emergency department, and with a fever of up to 106 degree Fahrenheit, and uh, five episodes of uh, watery green diarrhea per day for two weeks and uh, she also has a symptom of vomiting, dizziness, dys dyspnea or shortness of breath on exertion and productive cough and a weight loss of 7 kg and myalgia uh, that is the muscle pain. The patient medical history was unremarkable. Unremarkable uh, finding means the finding uh, which is either normal or which has uh, abnormalities that are no significance to the patient in that situation. So the uh, patient medical history uh, was fine except for a cesarean section uh, two years previously and surgical termination of uh, due to the surgical termination of pregnancy uh, which was done for the surgical abortion one month prior to becoming ill and she was uh, not on any medication and she had no allergies she did not smoke cigarettes she did not use any type of uh, illicited illicit drugs or alcohol and she had not traveled outside the USA uh, in that time period and HIV testing was reported negative one month before the presentation of this patient with these symptoms. So the findings include on the physical examination the patient appeared fatigue uh, but in no distress. The blood pressure is 98 by 71 mm of Hg, heart rate is 100 beats per minute respiratory rate is 18 breaths per minute physical examination was unremarkable or fine uh, the cbc or the complete blood count uh, report revealed that the patient is normochromic normocytic anemia uh, which means uh, it is a type of anemia in which the average size uh, of the cell or the hemoglobin content of the red blood cell are within the normal limits so it is uh, known as normocytic normochromic anemia the hemoglobin content is uh, sufficient in this patient uh, the hemoglobin is uh, 9.2 gram per deciliter with normal platelets white blood count and differential different uh, differential cells or the WBCs are also normal. So the serum chemistry revealed the elevated alkaline phosphatate phosphatase. Uh, these are the liver enzymes, and the alanine amino transferase uh, and the aspartate amino transferase. Uh, the Total bilirubin was 0.9 mg per deciliter and albumin is 3.1 gram per deciliter. Lactate dehydrogenase was above 2000 international unit per liter and C-reactive protein was 14 mg per liter. The chest x-ray of this patient was unremarkable or has no abnormality and the patient was admitted to the hospital. Abdominal ultrasound revealed the borderline gallbladder wall thickening and the CT scan of the abdomen and the pelvis showed the mild splenomegaly or the mild enlargement of the spleen and the multiple enlarged mesenteric lymph nodes in the roots of the mesentery and the right mid abdomen 
and there was no specific wall thickening of the terminal ileum, cecum and proximal ascending colon. Serology test was negative for the hepatitis while the blood and the urine cultures were positive for the Salmonella enterica serotype typhi which is the basic uh, organism which is responsible for uh, causing the typhoid. Uh, so uh, in the part of assessment uh, she was diagnosed with the typhoid fever due to the presence of the salmonella typhi in her blood and the urine and uh, the plan for this patient is uh, treat treatment should be started with the intravenous ciprofloxacin and fluid was initiated uh, and the patient was placed on uh, contact isolation so the organism can not spread from this patient her condition improved within the five uh, next five days and her fever and diarrhea were also resolved and she was discharged with the follow-up appointment in the infectious disease clinic and oral ciprofloxacin was continued for uh, 10 days and the patient's family member were tested for possible asymptomatic carriage so in the discussion acute GI or the gastrointestinal illness is exceedingly common uh, uh, in our society and it is a self-limiting illness which is characterized by vomiting and diarrhea the food and water may serve as a primary source of infection uh, for the spread of uh, these organisms uh, or the viruses bacteria and the protozoa these are the principal organisms uh, which can cause the acute GI illnesses and the onset of the disease is characterized by the influenza like symptoms including the chills and poorly uh, localized abdominal discomfort and it is unusual for the patient hospitalized with the typhoid to have normal bowel movement and no abdominal symptoms so uh, there must be uh, some abdominal symptoms or there must be the abnormal uh, bowel movement uh, in case of typhoid patient diarrhea usually occurs after the onset of fever in about uh, one third of the cases and initially the fever is low grade but it rises progressively uh, and by the second week it is often high and sustained to uh, 39 to 40 degrees centigrade and the uh, uh, few physical signs associated with typhoid include the uh, coating of the tongue uh, the coating of the tongue means the tongue becomes dry and is coated with the white patches in the central region of its surface Abdominal tenderness, hepatomegaly uh, or the lar enlarged size of the liver, enlarged size of the spleen or relative bradycardia. You can see the uh, mild splenomegaly in this patient and she also has the feverish symptoms. The hemoglobin level, WBC and the platelet counts are usually normal or reduced and the levels of the liver enzymes are usually elevated or high in case of typhoid patient. The blood culture is the standard diagnostic method and uh, if the test is positive uh, and usually it is positive in case of uh, 40 to 60 uh, percent and usually early in the course of the disease and the culture of the bone marrow is uh, more sensitive and the result being positive in 80 to 95 uh, percent of the patients with typhoid in case uh, we uh, take the bone marrow culture and even in patients who have been taking the antibiotics for several days regardless of the duration of illness the sensitivity of the stool culture depends on the amount of the feces cultured and the positivity rate increases with the duration of the illness. For a stool culture is uh, positive in 30% of the patients with acute disease 
and usually becomes positive after the first week of infection so the uh, stool culture uh, test should uh, be uh, should also be performed and it uh, depends on the amount of the feces uh, cultured and the positivity rate uh, or the chances of the positivity increases with the duration of the illness the stool culture is positive in 30% of the patients with acute disease and usually becomes positive after the first week of infection uh the treatment uh, with the chloramphenicol was introduced in 1948 and uh, which is marked uh, a revolution in the treatment of the typhoid fever and in 1980s and 1990s the salmonella typhi developed the resistance to all the drugs that were used as a first line treatment and uh, those drugs were the chloramphenicol trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole and the ampicillin about one third of all the salmonella typhi isolates were resistant to the quinolone nalidixic acid and there is a strong evidence that the fluoroquinolones are currently the most effective drug for the treatment of the typhoid fever but again some of the strains of the salmonella typhi uh, developed the resistant resistance towards these antibiotics the fluoroquinolone should be used at the maximum possible dose for a minimum of 10 to 14 days and uh, the patient should be <coughs> should be carefully followed to determine whether they are excreting the salmonella typhi in their feces or not and the third generation cephalosporin and the uh, macrolide that is azithromycin are also effective for the treatment of the typhoid and the parenteral uh, fluoroquinolones are probably the antibiotics or ch of choice for in case of severe infections and relapses uh, may occur and it should be treated in the same way as the initial infections so this is all about the um, uh, typhoid case study if you have any question then you can ask me any time thank you so much